doing? Hello, it's Catherine and welcome back to my channel, Sober to Makery. So, first of all, let's have a little thank you moment. <laughs> so I need to say thank you to everybody that has liked and subscribed and commented on my last video. Honestly, I um, can't believe quite how many people have subscribed this last week. I feel very, very lucky. So thank you. But I need to say a big thank you to another wonderful vlogger that many of you know. So I have quite a lot of um, the subscribers that have joined this week um, commented that actually they had been um, pointed in my direction by the wonderful Liz from the her channel, The Baker That Sews. Um, so the wonderful Liz, she, um, spotted i don't know how she spotted my channel but she spotted it somewhere and she um commented about it in her one of her previous vlogs um and said yeah go and check me out so honestly thank you so much liz i am so touched that you went to the trouble of yeah putting it in one of your vlogs um to go and tell your subscribers to come and have a look at what i'm sharing with everybody so thank you thank you liz and thank you also to the subscribers that pointed that out because i hadn't even realized so thank you liz and thank you to the subscribers right lots of thank yous done right what else do i need to do so uh just do a little catch up so last week i had a lovely little holiday with my mum and dad and my little boy um we went down to foy and we stayed on my mum and dad's boat and we had a lovely time down there. The weather was not as hot as it is this week. I mean, we're all sweltering this week <laughs> in the UK. But um, last week, yeah, it was lovely. We had lots of fun pottering around on the water, um, going out in the dinghy, doing some crabbing, um, going paddleboarding, having picnics. Yeah, we had a lovely time. And then today, I've had a wonderful day. So I went and visited my sister and her two beautiful children, so my niece and nephew, and um, took Sebastian as well. And we went to somewhere called Butterfly World. Oh, it was fabulous. There were butterflies everywhere. And then there were lots of animals as well. Oh, we just had the best day. And yeah, we had a lot of fun and it was so nice to hang out with all the lovely children and see them growing up as cousins together and having fun in the water. And yeah, oh, it was lovely. What a lovely day. So thank you. Thank you, Lucy. Um, right, must start a say before I get started. Um, what I'm wearing, I won't be able to show you very well, but here you go. And I'll make sure I put a picture in it in a full size picture of me wearing it. So this is the Zadie jumpsuit from Paper Theory Pattern. Make sure I get it right. <laughs> um, and I made it in this um, absolutely lovely um, linen fabric, which was from Lush Cloth. I got it this year, but sadly they haven't got any more in. Um, I think it was possibly a dead stock fabric I could be wrong but um it was on her, there with her website and then it was sold out and I haven't seen it come back in since but I absolutely fell in love with it when I saw it and I just knew it had to be a Zadie jumpsuit um and yeah you know I wore it today and my lovely sister Lucy she's like oh I love your jumpsuit um and so she had a try on session and it turns out they were pretty much the same size um so I'm going to I have promised I'm going to make her one at some point it'll probably be for next summer now <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to make a one and actually, yeah, we pretty much the same size. Uh, I have slightly big bottom, bigger bottom, so I will be making a slightly so smaller size on the bottoms for my sister. But yeah, we will be twinning in our Zadie jumpsuits at some point. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, that's what I'm wearing. What else was I going to say? Uh, oh yes, what's this video about? <laughs> honestly so i thought today i would bring you a plans video so i've seen lots of these on youtube and i haven't done one yet so i thought i would run through some ideas i've got for august and possibly september because the pile i've got here is quite hefty actually i can't hold it up it's so hefty <laughs> So yeah, I've got quite a few plans and they're all things I would really like to get done. But I have a feeling that given it's the 10th of August already today, this video won't be released for a couple of days. But um, yeah, I think I'm not going to get this all done in August. But I'm going to give it my best shot. And if I don't get it all done in August, I will roll them over to September and I will share the makes at some point. So yeah, let's get started. Right. First one. This lovely fabric is, oh, sorry, let's do it this side because I think you'll be able to see better. Um, so yes, the first plan I have is with this beautiful double gauze. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous in this wonderful blue colour. Um, and it's got these lovely flowers in blues and pinks and there's some greens. And I hadn't realised this before, but there's even some dragonflies in it, which I, um, they, uh, somebody pointed out. Um, I think it was my mum, actually. But it, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous now 
can't really tell you what I'm making with this, but you will find out in a couple of weeks. It all will be revealed. It's a bit of a mystery, but I hope you enjoy the idea. So yeah, you will find out what I'm making with it. And actually, I'm slightly ahead because I've actually already made it. For once in my life, I'm ahead. <laughs> So yeah, this is one of my first makes for August in this lovely double gauze fabric. So yeah, all will be revealed on that. I'm going to keep it cryptic. Right, let's move on to the next make. So I'm going to hold up these three. So I've got these three lovely, let's do it this side, sorry. These three lovely jerseys. Now they are all, right, these two definitely are viscose jerseys. This bottom one, I have a feeling it's more of a lightweight cotton jersey. So what I'll do is I'll go through um, all of the fabrics and then I'll let you know what my pattern plans are for them. So the first one, as I said, is this lovely, let's try and get a single piece, lovely drapey. Sorry, I thought the doggy might have been coming in the door then, but no, it's just my imagination. <laughs> yeah, this lovely drapey viscose jersey. Apologies for the creases in it. It's been in my stash for a while. Um, and what I would like to do with this is to make the S... Oh, hold up. Hold up. Get my words out right. The Astaire from French Navy Patterns. Um, and it's a lovely boxy tee. I think you can possibly put a pocket on and it has sort of slits at the side. I'll put a picture in of what it looks like and I'll also include the size range below. Um, so yeah, the Estherity is what I'd really like to make with actually possibly all three of these jerseys I'm going to show you. So this one, yeah, is a white viscose jersey and this was from Fabric Godmother last year. Um, so yeah, this is to go with the culottes I shared in my last video. I think it would look really nice having a, a stair tee, which I might actually crop. And if I've got enough left over, I'm also going to make a lunar tank, which is the free pattern from Helen's Closet Patterns. Um, and yeah, I'll also include a little picture of that. And I will also put the size ranges below. I'm not going to say that for everyone. I'm going to now do that as my new way of uh, detailing what sizes the patterns go up to and, and what they start from. Um, this is an idea that I pinched from Ruan, who mentioned this in her last vlog. And I think it's a great idea because it's a bit tedious to listen to the size ranges, but I think having the information of the minimum and maximum size range for a pattern is really useful. So I'm going to make sure I put it in, in writing below. So yeah, sorry Ruan, I pinched your idea, but I think it's a fab one. <laughs> Right, and then this is the next fabric I'd quite like to make an Astaire tee from. Um, this is a gorgeous viscose jersey again, um, in the this fabulously bright rainbowy style sort of random abstract pattern. Um, I absolutely love all the colours in it, particularly this sort of really deep pinky purple, and I love this sort of cobalty blue as well. Um, so my idea was that this would look fabulous in the summer, well, as we're coming to the end of summer, but even in the autumn with the cardi on top, but with some jeans, I've got some lovely pink jeans it would look great with, um, that are just ready made. And also I think it'd look fab with, yeah, other jeans, just sort of normal, sort of indigo jeans as well. So yeah, another est Astaire tea. I cannot get my words out. How on earth? What on earth can I not say it? Astaire tea. Don't know how I am at the moment. <laughs> Anyway, so that was the other one. And then the last Astaire tee, because I thought what I'd do is I'd batch cut three out and then I'm hoping I could whiz them up quite quickly. If I've got three cut out, then yeah, whiz them up. And the first two I could definitely do on the overlocker in white. This one I might have to change the thread for the needles. But um, yeah, but this one is actually a fabric I've had for absolutely yonks. I bought this in San Francisco when we went on our honeymoon. So when we went on our honeymoon, we went to America, we started in Las Vegas, and then we did a tour of the West Coast, and we ended up in San Francisco. And back then, I wasn't really into dress making for myself that much, but I loved making things for little people in my lives. And actually, the reason I bought this was to try and make something for my goddaughter, who is now nearly 10. Yes, we've been married nearly 10 years. Um, and um, yeah, I, I knew that she was imminently due and I wanted to make some little baby clothes. But actually, when I was looking, I didn't really pick the right fabric. Hence why this has stayed in my stash and I didn't make anything out of this fabric for her. Um, so yeah, this one is a, 
I want to say it's a cotton jersey because it doesn't feel like viscose, but it drapes better than a cotton jersey and it's actually quite thin, like it has a lot of movement like a viscose jersey. Um, so yeah, but it's from a shop that was called Britex Fabrics, spelled B-R-I-T-E-X Fabrics, and it was a fabulous shop in San Francisco. It had four floors, it was quite overwhelming, but if you ever go to San Francisco, you need to go and visit that shop. It was amazing. I wish in a way that I could go there now, knowing what I know about dressmaking and fabrics and yeah, just to, to take it all in. It was amazing. It had, yeah, loads of different things on different floors. I'm sure somewhere on YouTube, there's probably a tour of Britex fabrics. But yeah, if you're ever in San Francisco, it's a must. Um, so yeah, Astete out of this one. And this is to go with my next make. So um, I showed this in my fabric haul video and a couple of people commented and said oh the skirt's gonna be beautiful in that fabric you've got to make it and you know what that is the reason that I'm going to make it because I cannot let this summer pass without having a skirt in this fabulous fabric so yeah this is the pleated plissé fabric that I bought on the Gold Hawk Road and if you like it I have just spotted this weekend that it's in the sale um at Guthrie Garney I think it's reduced to, I want to say £9.50 a metre. Could be £10. It was £12 something a metre. Um, so yeah, if you fancy making yourself a plissé skirt, then go and grab some. Um, so yeah, it's going to be in this fabric with this fabulous elastic, which I'm sure I've shown you. Oh, there's a loose thread on there. Get rid of that. Um, yeah, with this fabulous um, elastic at the waist. And then it's going to pair beautifully. Sorry, I'm not really showing this very well. But... <laughs> You get the idea. The lovely purpley pinky top with the um, pleated skirt. And the pleated skirt, I am going to use the tutorial from Guthrie and Garney. Um, and it's where you simply use your waist measurement and you do some maths and work out what width you need and then you gather it in and then attach it to your elastic. Um, so yeah, it should be quite a simple make, I hope. <laughs> So yeah, that's my other plan. Right, oh, and to go underneath that skirt, I will show you what I mean. This plissé is a little bit see-through. I mean, you can't Let's try and show you with one layer. It's a bit hard actually to show you, but well, you can probably see the fabrics behind there. Can you see behind? Can you see my, oh, oh yeah, hold on. Oh, right, hold on. I think you can see my hand behind there really not showing this very well because that's now two layers of fabric again but my idea was that i would make a little simple slip skirt out of this i've got a remnant of this very thin viscose that i bought from rainbow fabrics a couple of years ago and i thought what i'd do is i'd make a little slip a very simple slip that will go underneath it and you can see actually it sort of makes the colours in the skirt pop out even more with the white behind it so i'm just gonna make a little slip but i probably won't make it the length of the pleated skirt i think what i'll do is i'll make it maybe three or four inches shorter and then but it'll be a separate slip so i'm literally going to do i think one and a half times my waist measurement all the way around and then i'm going to just gather on some elastic around the waist and then just finish the edges and hem it maybe actually do a rolled hem on the overlocker which i've not done before but i think i'm going to end up doing the plissé skirt so then i could wear it under other skirts as well so that is my plan on there. And then you can see why this isn't all gonna happen in August. The list goes on. <laughs> I'll just see. This is what my head is always like. I have all these plans and think, oh yeah, that'd be perfect for now. And then you'll give it six weeks and it's gonna be cold and raining outside and I'm not gonna want to make any of this, am I? Um, right, so the next make, which I've cut out and I'm going to start tonight. It's my mission. My darling wife is at bingo and I've got a couple of hours where I'm gonna get sewing, so. <laughs> So I'm going to make a Ruan. You're going to love this. <laughs> a Lyra dress, which I have made before, but I've only made the short version. So I have made this version before. Um, but this time I would like to make the maxi tiered version with the short sleeves. I'm hoping that shows. If it doesn't, I'll put another picture in. I've noticed on a couple of my previous videos that it's a bit fuzzy. So yeah, I'm gonna make the Lyra dress and I'm going to make it in this fabulous, I just love it. Sorry, it's all cut out already. Um, 
viscose which i bought from so 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 the lovely katie at so 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 she's had it in and out of stock several times and i had to message her and say when is it coming back in stock i really need it in my life <laughs> i just love it i love the color i think it's so summery um and i love the pattern on it i i i'm not brave enough to wear full-on leopard print but this i can definitely wear i would love to wear something like this i'm liking the animal printy vibes on it um and the polka dots too so yeah i'm going to make the lyra dress out of this lovely viscose and i'm determined that that one will be probably the first one to be made right next one to be made actually last thing that i'm planning on making but it might be made actually just after the lyra dress because i'd like this to get made sooner or later and this is going to be for my gorgeous niece um so i've shown this book before so she kids happy homemade by ruriko yamada um i will make sure i put a link to the book below and i'm going to make this tiered skirt p you can hear they made here they made it in a beautiful liberty tub lawn it looks like and i'll just show you the line drawings for it as well so that's the line drawings right there and it's just a three-tiered skirt with a simple elasticated waist and i'm going to make that with this lovely fabric here it's already cut out i just need to find out her waist measurement and then I can get it finished or started and finished. And oh, there's a little loose thread there. I'm going to make it out of this fabulous um, cotton that's been embroidered with, well not embroidered, decorated with these beautiful strips of, I think it's bias and then ribbon. Oh, it's so pretty. So I think that will look lovely. And yeah, I've got all the stripes going horizontally. Um, and yeah, that's going to be my that uh, that's going to be my second make, I think, getting this done. And that fabric was from Raspberry Bazaar, and it was the lovely Samantha from Purple Sewing Cloud that um tagged them in her stories. Oh, it was a few months ago now, I feel. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like it was about three months ago. And um, yeah, Ras Raspberry Bazaar, they're on Instagram. They're a shop, I don't know where they are, but I'll link them down below. And they also have now a separate fabric Instagram page. And this was only five pounds a meter. And I just think, oh, it's so pretty. So yeah, I think I'll make a lovely little summer skirt for my gorgeous niece. So yeah, that is my last make. Right, so who's gonna put odds? What are the odds on me actually completing all this? <laughs> You can see I've already got a few doubts whether I'll actually get it all done. But I think it's good to have plans. And like I say, I've already made one, which you'll find out about in a couple of weeks' time. Um, so, yeah, I'm just looking at the mountain of fabric that's on the floor that I now need to go and tidy up. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm going to get started on that Lyra now because I like that dress a lot. and I think it'll be lovely for the next couple of days that there's weather that we're having at the moment. So, anyway. I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you've done lots of sewing or you're going to do some sewing. Uh, I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will be back with you soon. Bye lovelies. Mwah.